Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Creepy Super 99. So yeah, um, I have a new version of Blender here, Blender 2.69, and uh, yeah, stuff. So let's get right in here. Let's start off. To start off, um, yeah. So we're gonna fix those body bends because I know they look kind of stupid right now, but we are gonna fix them. They shall be fixed. Um, oh, oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Okay, just turn the specularity down on there if you have that. So, last episode we went over fingers. I just did this hand off camera. Now we have those. On the episode before that, we went over making a um, good mouse. And stuff, which I'm going to completely redo all the shape keys now. T. And we're just going to do the rest of the face now. So let's start off with the mouth. And it's shape keys. So go into the shape keys. We've got all these shape keys. Ooh, ooh, new Blender feature. Yeah, I like new features. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to select all of these. Delete everything because that that those kind of stank. So we're gonna do the thing we did before and select all of the bottom ones. There we go. And instead of doing what we did last time and dragging them, you know, where the way we did, we're gonna drag them um all the way down that way. Just the bottom ones down, an entire pixel, and then we're gonna select these, go in and just drag it up a teeny tiny bit. That was the basis. Actually, no, we are gonna <coughs> select these, drag them out. Okay, add in a shape key, drag them out to the line. Then select these, drag them also out to the line, then select the entire thing, whoops, and drag it down. I have a much better mouth open shape key. And you'll notice we don't get any glitches or anything here in the render. It looks very nice. And, oh, still forgot to fix this little problem here. The mouth in the back here goes crazy. I figured out what it is, I think. There's actually a second invisible vert there. Just go ahead and Z, select it. There's, oops, a secret invisible vert there. Just turn this crease all the way up. It appears there's also a secret hidden vert right here, too. So we're just gonna. Yes. Now, where is it? Oh, Z, select the invisible vert. Yeah! <clears throat> Drag it up. I don't know why I didn't do this on the other side of the mouth, but... Yay! Hooray! We fixed it! Okay. And then I guess, ah, then turn these creases down. There we go. I have no idea why I didn't do that on the other side of the mouse, but there you go. And render it out, and there we go. Super smooth mouth. 
super sweet. Yes, in fact, it's way too smooth to be Minecrafty at all. It just looks too good, you know. There we go. That looks good enough, and it doesn't cut down your render time too much. There is our sweet, sweet mouth. Hey there! What's up? And then we're gonna just add in a new shape key. The face. Um, box select SX. Um, and then I was wrong about this shape key here. You can't actually, it's not like you do it again, like I said before. Um, you actually just turn it down and it does the opposite of what you put. So we can see that that goes out too far. So we're just going to set the minimum to, actually we're just going to let it slide. His mouth can go too far. Oh well. It's really okay. <clears throat> Creepy. Whoops. Very weird looking. Yes, that looks very creepy. So there we go. We have achieved creepiness. And I just made the face the camera. Well done. Creepy Speaker 99. <clears throat> so, if we were to not do that, make it go in like this. See, it looks good. No graphical glitches. Okay, the mouth should be mouth should be good now. Like I showed you before, just do the same thing for the smirk like I showed you before. Now we're going to get into the eyes. So just select whatever faces you want to be the eyes. For me, it's going to be like this. And it looks weird right now, I know. Just, just wait. And you shoot it in however far you want the eyes to be in. And it's going to do this terrifying thing. That's okay. Just select all the faces, <clears throat> if I can. Grr! Grr! All those faces around the eyes, and then turn their crease all the way up. Now we have eyes that look terrifying, granted, but... Yeah, that's pretty scary. I'll admit. But it's not done yet. So select the um like eye balls, I guess. And then X I mean no no no. Shift D there we go. Shift D drag them up above. Select the older ones that we had before, hit X, and delete those faces. Make sure you hit faces. Then select these um, ones that we duplicated here. Bring them down. What? S, Z. Just scale it along the S axis. Scale it up, you know. You know, then ring it to the mouth and stuff, and then S, X. Oh, uh, wait, no. And that's just so we can make, like, an eyes go crazy wide stuff. Um, and then in the materials tab, add a new material, hit assign. That's going to give it this material that we have here. And then set it to whatever color you want this to be. Don't make it a solid white. <coughs> solid whites are never good. Never want it to be a totally solid color. And yes, that looks terrifying. Still, okay. Then select any one of these words. Uh, any one of these. Um, I'd select. I don't know. Anything really. Hit Shift D. Then, with whoops. In the small grid squares, drag it down to the middle here. Turn its crease all the way up, of course. 
Wait a sec. Extrude hmm. outwards like this to be, you know, pretty big. And then select the face that it has in the back, actually. And delete it. Delete the back face. Because that's only going to cause trouble. Then select all those, me increase all the way up. Again, select the whole thing. And then drag it in to the middle of the eye. Which apparently we did not have it at the middle of the eye. And then. Hmm. Oh, 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 I see. These faces behind the eye are a little bit dragged up. And then drag it over one of the smaller grid squares, duplicate it, bring it to the center, and then again, one of the smaller grid squares to the middle. And then select all of these. And then... Then go into the materials tab again, add a new material, hit assign, make it almost a solid black. Pretty much as close as you can. And it's gonna look creepy still. We're gonna fix that though. Ta da! He has eyes. It'll still look weird because he doesn't have eyebrows yet. Now we're gonna fix this crazy problem. So, first we're gonna leave Blender and save. Save. <clears throat> then we're going to look for our Steve.png wherever it may be. I'm just gonna search char. I don't know where it is. Dot png. I have absolutely no idea where it is. Um, this one is the one I'm looking for. Open with Acorn or GIMP or Pixelator or Photoshop, whichever one. You prefer I'm just gonna use this and then we're gonna get hold on if, if I can get it to work there we go and then we're just gonna hold, go ahead and up in, in a completely unused spot not over here because this is where your second skin layer for the head will be if you have one and then add in a completely black and a completely white and a mouth color. That's a tongue color, actually. And a mouth color. Those are so that we can get nice colors in the 3D view for it. Save it. <clears throat> Back into Blender. Go into UV Image Editor with our char.png selected. Image, reload image, there the stuff with the eyes selected, grab it, and we could just bring it over to this black field of blackness or whatever, but there we go. Still looking creepy, I realize. And scale it down. Bring it over to the white. There we go, now it looks a lot less creepy in the 3D viewport. And it's still going to look creepy because we don't have eyebrows. And eyebrows will really make all the difference. Okay. Our facial features are coming along very nicely. We're starting to have a pretty good rig here. Um, yes, we are. So we're starting to have a really good rig here. Um, it's working out really well for us. And so we're going to do the inside of the mouth. And now for the eyebrows. Just select, I don't know, two faces, wherever. Duplicate. Drag it out. Extrude. Select them all. Turn their crease up. Duplicate them over to the other eye. Oh, 
Oh, they're inside of his eye, apparently. Select him again. Depending on how bushy you want your eyebrows to be. Oops. Looks like I did that wrong. Hit RZ180. No, I didn't do it wrong. I had that key selected. Okay, delete. Okay, let's try that again. Duplicate. Drag out. Extrude. Make sure it's not going insane. Box select. Turn crease up. Duplicate to other eye. Select them both. Bring them over. Scale them down in here. Whoops. But not all the way down or else I'm going to be able to scale them back up. Bring them to whatever color you want them to be. That's way too dark. That's a good color. Um, they seem a bit not, not quite thick enough. I mean, they seem too thick. They seem to pop out too much, if you know what I mean. There we go, but they seem to be SX a bit. Wait, no. Select a single eyebrow. No, wait. Select them both. I'm sorry. I've got it now, though. Select them both, drag them up a tiny bit, then select one of them, which can't really be done very easily. SX. That seems about right. Duty, duty, duty. Okay, and then SX. It's starting to look like a face. Uh oh. Ah. Oh, I knew they looked bushy. I had that shape key selected when I dragged them back in. Okay, so now I gotta drag them back to where they were. Shape keys can be very touchy. Beware of the shape keys. There we go. Now for render it out, we finally have a good looking face, but we can't move anything yet. So we are going to move things. Derp, 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 derp. Okay. So we're going to have to start naming shape keys now. We'll call this. Um, what is it? Mouth open, I think. We'll call it mouth op because I hate typing in long things. No, I love typing in long things. I'm just kidding. But it's not very convenient. Mouth long and short. I, I might. No! No! No, 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 no. How did this happen? Oh, wait. I want to select them both. I don't have to select both of them. Oh, whoops. Dang it. Father. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Now I've got just the eyebrows. 
Now we've got just the eyebrows. Drag them in once more. Yay! Finally. Okay. I'm sorry, but that is hilarious. So now, we're going to add it in a new shape key, and we'll call it Eyes OR. And surprisingly enough, we're going to be moving the eyes left and right. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but we're not going to do the thing in, like in um, Mind to Blend's rig, where he just kind of... Um, Just parents the eyes to a bone. That doesn't look very good. There we go, that should work just fine. Oh, it doesn't. We have to have separate shape keys because of reasons. Wait a second. Okay, there we go. We have to add a new shape key, so this will just be eyes right. We want to keep it perspective for us. What the heck? The reason we dragged them in to the middle just a bit is to keep them look like, to keep it to look like he's alive. And eyes. Eyes L. I just thought I deleted you. And eyes up, down. Whoops. Don't want to rip those faces. Just drag them up. Minimum. And we can combine these to make different facial features. So now we can control his eyes, technically, we can, for an animation, you could just hit I over this value bar here, and that'll insert a keyframe, but we want drivers. Now, um, I'm going to do, you know, you, you understand shape keys now, hopefully. I'm going to do a bunch of the other shape keys off camera in between this episode and the next, and the next episode we'll be doing a bunch of drivers. Uh, so we didn't really accomplish all that much. I don't know if I said this, but just drag these, um down two pixels so that it doesn't go crazy and be like two pixels above his head and stuff but um yeah so we didn't get all that much accomplished but we will tomorrow or whatever um you know um but basically i was showing you how to use shape keys that was the point of that tutorial um was showing you how to get our face modeled and how to make shape keys and now you understand and you can do the same for the eyebrows and such um that looks like it hurts and yeah okay so see you next time whenever that is this one's been a short one but um yeah bye